One day after completing her 10th year at school, Ukrainian high jumper Yulia Levchenko told herself before going to the Youth Olympic Games in Nanking, China, depending on how I perform, I will choose my way in life. If I bring back a medal, then I will keep working in this field. If I don't, I will look for another path in my life. Yulia Levchenko came back from those Olympic Games a champion. This beautiful girl from Kyiv is planning to stay in sports and compete at the highest level for a long time. Our story today is about an energetic girl who has managed to show her abilities in youth, junior and adult athletics. Zodiac sign, Sagittarius. Eye color, brown. Favorite color, blue I guess. Biggest victory, victory over myself. Dream to completely fulfill my potential. Favorite book, Whitney my love. Favorite movie, I have no favorite. Favorite place? Home and the gym. Places I'm the most often. Favorite animal? I love my dog that recently appeared in my life. Yorkshire Terrier Leo joined the Levchenko family in late 2016. They have long wanted to have such a friend in their home. A big dog would have been uncomfortable to keep in an apartment, so they decided to take this little wonder into their warm family. And so I, without asking anyone, I brought a dog as a gift for my sister's birthday. Paulina, my sister, really wanted one. She turned 10 and she got one. She couldn't believe it. First we gave her dog food as a gift. She asked why we needed that. I answered that it was for a dog, but we don't have a dog. So the next package I presented to her was the dog and she was shocked. She just stood there and she couldn't believe her eyes. Little Leo has become not just a pet but a true member of the Levchenko family. They often argue on who is going to walk the dog. The father in this situation skips this duty to let his girls enjoy these walks a little more. We do it in turns, mum, me and Paulina. My dad is so big that he said he wouldn't go for a walk with such a tiny thing. The terrier is just like its master, restless, friendly and sociable. Everybody around her knew she has been fidgety since her childhood, so it's no wonder Yulia got into sports. However, Yulia did not become an athlete at once. She tried drawing, later dancing. She even made her first trial steps in artistic gymnastics. Sports found me, took me by the hand and brought me to where I am today. Well, it's no secret that I've been very active since childhood. It was visible to the naked eye, so to speak, that I needed to do something, that I had a lot of energy, and it had to be channeled into something useful. So I started searching. I thought about dancing, then I had some experience with eurythmics. Yulia was advised to try high jumping by her physical education teacher. Well, it wasn't really advice. She just showed her tall student to a coach and she put in a good word for her. The coach first explained the basics, showed her how to thrust off and Yulia got into this sport. After some time, a new specialist named Irina Pustovoit started training the young sportswoman. It was Irina Pustovoit with whom Yulia won the gold medal at the Youth Olympic Games in Nanking in 2014 and a bit later a bronze at the Junior Championships in Poland in 2016. And just recently, the girl has won a bronze in the Adult World Indoor Championship. In the case of Yulia, one can say that victories in high jumping came to her from the very beginning. I barely visited two training sessions and there was the Kiev Championship where I took first place. I didn't understand it very well and jumped however I could. The parents mocked me because I came home and I told them I'd won a medal. They were like, how? You've only had two training sessions. And they started joking about that, asking whom I jumped with. Like, were they little children there or what? The parents stopped joking when their daughter managed to fight her way to the Youth Olympic Games in 2016. They just worried and cheered her on. For Yulia, her performance in Nanking was an event which changed her life. It had determined what the 10th grader was going to do next in life. Depending on how I perform at these Youth Olympic Games, that will decide how good I am in this sport. And it just so happened that I took first place. It was decided at once. I had understood that this sport is for me, and I wanted to feel those emotions not once. I wanted the great feeling of achievement, the best results, and had room for improvement. So I told my parents I was ready to walk down the path of sports in life, and it will be never too late to get some secondary education. After all, it's never too late to learn.
But sports is here and now. The Nanking gold was quite unexpected for Levchenko. Although she was going to China hoping for a medal and would win one if she was lucky enough, but the Ukrainian athlete could have never thought she would win the gold. Yulia had an opponent, a Czech sportswoman named Mikaela Ruba. All things considered, it was Ruba who had all the chances to take first place. She is one year younger than me, but very strong. In selection rounds, I jumped 82, and she was going for 90, I think. 90 was either her personal record or she was only going for it. But the difference between first and second place was 10 centimeters, which is quite a lot. That's why I realized that I can indeed compete even with such strong opponents as she was. At that moment, Yulia, in a way, jumped over her own head. She renewed her personal record twice, winning an unexpected yet well-deserved gold. Besides, the Ukrainian girl came back from Nanking with the status of first beauty. Many find her very beautiful, feminine, and at the same time mysterious. Yulia started receiving invitations for photo shoots, as well as first offers from sponsors. The girl adores dresses and could even stand on high heels, though she's not too fond of them. I know that it's a load on the legs and the feet and that I can easily injure myself by dislocating my foot, for example. In sports, that means trauma and you are out of the training process. One should know when to stop. Yulia Levchenko has many sports dreams. Generally, a lot of them have already come true. Yulia didn't complete qualifications in Brazil, but the young sportswoman of the Ukrainian national team says she was not expecting a great result anyway. We are still young, of course, that's for us. We went there to get some experience. It was not a secret. Those people who place medals around our necks are somewhat distant from the reality of sports. Everything can't happen all of a sudden, especially in our form of sport. It's a long-running process, but I have hope. For example, there's a Spanish jumper, Ruth Betier. She's 37. That's a record age, so to speak. So it would be great to achieve such results and to compete in several Olympic Games. The Ukrainian athlete returned from the Olympics in Rio with experience and another wave of recognition. The spectators chose the Ukrainian sportswoman as the most beautiful participant of the national team. It was already after the Olympics, when I came back, that I realized there was some audience choice award. It's all nice, but it is secondary. While I do like it, it's flattering. But I don't get fixated on it, because I don't consider it the main thing at such major sports events. The young sportswoman finds the emotions and the adrenaline she feels from high jumping much more important. That's the real high. These are the minutes of happiness for which you spend so much time in a gym and for which you spend your energy and health. The emotions Yulia gave to all the spectators in Belgrade at the Winter European Track and Field Athletics Championship, where she received a bronze award, have spread around the world. The greatest emotions are when you run, you thrust off, and the plank doesn't fall. That is, a plank means some good result or even good placement. And the emotions are the best. It's sad. They last such a short time, just a couple of seconds. You cool down fast and you don't really understand what's happening. You want to enjoy those seconds as much as you can, but somehow they disappear very quickly and only a little aftertaste of the thrill of the victory is left over. However, later comes the sense of satisfaction and other emotions appear. It's not the storm on the track, not the euphoria, but a moment of joy. And it's just as good. The second such emotional outburst, I even divided them into three stages. The first is when you get out of the pit. The second is when you are given the flag to make an honor lap. And the third is when you stand on the pedestal in the winner's circle. Even now, I stood there and the anthem was not playing. And despite the fact that it was third place, when I saw the raising flag, I was really overwhelmed with emotions because you understand you made a contribution, that you are doing something for yourself and for your country. In fact, I consider these to be the strongest emotions. I even had tears in my eyes. It was very pleasant indeed. Of course, the career of every athlete consists not only of joyful moments. Sometimes life gives you a run of bad luck, and you are usually not ready for that. 
Yulia Levchenko experienced this as well. Right after the Youth Olympics in Nanking, the Ukrainian champion had been defeated by her opponents at the European Championship in Sweden. Yulia went there as a favourite. That's only Europe, and she's the best in the world. Even before the competition, she was ready to win another prize. However, she overestimated herself. I had one try, 1 meter 86. If I jump it, I take third place, and if I fail, I remain in sick. I thought, well, I jumped at trainings, so everything is fine. So I just got relaxed and I said to myself, I'm going to do it now. Well, I hit the plank, and I realized I'm in sixth place. The third place was given to some unknown girl whom I'd never saw at the European Championship. I was upset because of the circumstances. I arrived there in second place and went home in sixth place. It was very disappointing for me. Things happen, it's impossible to protect oneself from such bad luck, so it's critical to have support nearby. There are moments when you lose your heart and they are not motivating at all. You just want to, it's desperation, moments of desperation. And then it's important to have someone close to support you. You need your parents to tell you to stop being miserable and go and train. Get support from your coach and your friends. This is probably the most important thing indeed, the support. Because it so happened that even at training, you feel discouraged and you feel like you've already lost and automatically place yourself last. Yulia Levchenko doesn't usually experience such mood swings at training sessions, let alone at competitions. Her experienced mentor, Irina Pustovoit, supports and guides her. The coach knows best what was missing for a successful jump and can advise the athlete what else she must do to achieve the result she is aiming for. There was a moment at the Junior World Championships when I didn't know whether I should put on a jumpsuit or a top with shorts. So I approached my coach and told her I didn't know what to wear. She says, whatever makes you more beautiful. A male coach was sitting nearby and asked her, what do you mean more beautiful? She replied, don't you know that has a positive effect on the performance? She goes out knowing that she's the most beautiful. So she jumps higher. That is, she understands us as a woman, a mother and a true friend. Another talented high jumper, Irina Hiraschenko, trains in Irina Postovoit's group. Many specialists are confused how two sportswomen, two competitors fighting for their way to the Olympics, manage to train together. But the girls enjoy working out like that very much. Not only is the result not worse, but on the contrary. We've got a trio of sorts, Irina, me and Ira. We always communicate, we always talk, we always solve some problems and even discuss our manicures. A lot of things happen. Training like that is even better. It's good when you have someone to follow. That is, sometimes I follow Ira. Sometimes Ira can learn a thing or two from me. We've got slightly different high jumps. And it happens that Irina says, Yulia, look at Ira, or Ira, look at Yulia. I think it's really great that we can help each other in such a way. Moreover, the girls just don't learn from each other. They support and worry for one another and share their problems with each other. And the fact that they often compete in high jumping is not a problem. They have long decided they are not competitors in jumping. When I was smaller, Ira bought me a uniform, that is, running shoes. I remember Ira presented me with my first cool running shoes. It was all such a friendly atmosphere. That's how it started. There was a moment when I said, Ira, we'll both be at the competition. Will you stop being my friend then? I cried. She said, Yulia, you are joking. The only competitor we have is the plank. Well, we are clear on the competitor, but Yulia has got an opponent she would much like to learn from. It's a Russian sportswoman named Maria Kuchina. She somehow manages to focus, but I don't know how. She is relaxed, but focused at the same time. I am really impressed by this person. I would really like to learn to control these emotions. Her technique is very interesting too, and our measurements are very similar. Right, and she jumps, I think. I'm somewhat like her, and I have reserves, so maybe I'll jump as high as her one day. Yulia Levchenko is trying to treat sports as a hobby. She is just afraid to treat everything so seriously. She fears that one day she might fail and let her coach and her team down. Although, of course, sport is not entertainment for her, sport is life. Sport surrounds me. That is, I'm a part of sport and sport is a part of me. So even if it's some meeting with friends, it's connected to sports. 
That's my favorite environment, my favorite activity, and a way to spend time. These are all connected to sport. The Ukrainian beauty has already achieved much in sports and aspires to add other titles to her collection. The main hopes of Yulia Levchenko are aimed at the Olympic Games in Tokyo in 2020, and this time it's not experience she's going for. Indeed, sport is the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat.